Okay, thank you so much for your patience. Anyway, so these are the last two slides which we didn't do. This one and the next one. Uh, if and any one of you would like to do quick recap on what we last discussed, just the last bit, not everything, but but very quickly, maybe five minutes, or shall I do it? Anything maybe you can do it now, Jayanti, because it was so long ago. <laughs> so long ago, okay. So uh, I think we cover all the questions of, uh, from the. Um, from the questionnaire, and the la the last one was, what uh, what is the most important way that we can discharge our responsibility to our dependents, subordinates, and friends? And if you remember the last, uh, okay. So how I'm gonna change now? Okay, one second. Okay, I have to change here. Uh, yeah, so this was the last one. Yeah. Uh, this was the... Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So this was the last uh, uh, slide, if you remember. And uh, that's a letter from uh, Satsvarupa, uh, from Shiva Prabhupada to Satsvarupa Das, uh, I mean, Maharaj. At that time, yeah, he was still uh, uh, Maharaj even that time. And um, if you remember, he was saying that uh, we discussed how Ananda Mai, you, uh, you made a very good point that uh, Prabhupada here is saying that we should not um, try to make a new numbers and better try to, not that he's saying that we should try not to make new members, but to try to elevate the, the consciousness of uh, the members which we already have by how by sitting with them discussing reading his books and discussing from different angles of vision and we discussed like uh, it, that that's mostly the most pro um, because uh, my point was that Sasparupa Maharaj was uh, some kind of a leader in the temple president or just um, you know, leader in that community, and Prabhupada was advising him, that's the way how to take care of the people who are under him, by letting them explore Prabhupada's uh, um, read, try to understand Prabhupada's purpose, and try to discuss amongst themselves from different angles of vision, and that will enhance their ability, or that will help them to do whatever else is needed in devotional service, like uh, tapasya and austerity, and it will be much easier. Do you remember? We discussed Yes, that. yes, yeah. I remember. Yeah, Vikramini, you remember? Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, so, okay, so we're going to go for the next one. And, yeah, that, the, that was the point, that what is the most important way to discharge our responsibility? So if we're looking after people, whether they are family members or they are other devotees or subordinate or if we are like professionals and we have people under us. Uh, I mean, professionals, I mean, <laughs> no, it, yeah, still you can uh, utilize it, I guess, even in, even in, in outside uh, that principle. But the most important way uh, to look after people, especially devotees, we are talking about devotees, is to connect them with Shiva Prabhupada and help them understand for themselves, from their point of view, how they understand, discuss with them, and this will enhance their spiritual life and will help them to do the most difficult uh, task, like uh, performing austerities and... Um, different different services even so we discussed i think you had some uh, uh some question another my 
uh, if devotees don't like if yeah you you are having a doubt that if devotees are not uh, um, not inclined to study I, I yeah you was asking okay yeah you was asking that if devotees are not inclined to study whether if they do service menial service or other services physical service are they gonna advance that was your question and we discussed it that yeah they will advance maybe slowly very gradually but in order to make a good progress and to be stable in their spiritual life they need that type of uh, um, discussion going on in the spiritual circles of the devotees yeah yeah yes yeah okay so let's go to the next one uh it's very we have to figure out that program it's really okay Okay, so who would like to read that that uh, uh, quote from Bhagavad Gita, 13th chapter? I can read it. Yeah, this is one of my favorite quotes, actually. Every time a devotee couple gets married, I like to write this on their, on their card. <laughs> so, okay, <laughs> go on, Ananda, my group. Bhagavad Gita 13, 8 to 12, purport. The best process for making the home pleasant in Krishna consciousness, if one is in full Krishna consciousness, he can make his home very happy because this process of Krishna consciousness is very easy. I think we did oh, there that. Was, there was, there was, a, there was a, a full stop, and I didn't see that in the beginning. Yeah, but this, um, this, I think we did that uh, as well. Do you recall doing that uh, quote or not? Do you no, remember? No, I, do, I don't remember that Rick we were reading this one. Do you remember that one? I think that uh, we already read it. I also this, think so. Yeah. yeah. Now yes. I... Uh, anyway, okay, read it, Ananda Mai. Just to recap, anyway. Okay, read it and then, yeah. One, yeah. one need only chant Hare Krishna, accept the remnants of foodstuffs offered to Krishna, have some discussion on books like, like Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam and engage oneself in deity worship. These four things will make one happy. One should train the members of his family in this way. If one can mold his family life in this way to develop Krishna consciousness, following these four principles, then there is no need to change from family life to renounced life. Oh yeah, I remember now we were reading this. Yes, we did. We did. Yeah. And okay, yeah. would you like to do quick recap? Just quick to say actually what because this also comes under the question: What is the most important way uh, we can discharge our responsibilities to our dependents, subordinates, and friends? So yeah, yeah, yeah. The most important is to train everybody in the family and practice ourselves uh, with these four principles of. Um, reading the books and discussing the books regularly, Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, uh, worshipping the deity, and of course, uh, chanting and uh, offering the food. Yeah. Sure. And if we do this, then, then the members of our family will be happy. Yeah. And this implies, uh, yes, uh, uh, so yeah, you are saying these four things which Prabhupada suggests if we do with our family, then uh, uh, discussing Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavatam, taking prasadam together, chanting together, and worshipping the deities. This will make a very happy family, which will stay together and will be very happy. Yeah? So, yes. uh, yeah. And this applies not only for our um, family, like immediate relatives. It can be also uh, expanded into the bigger family. If we uh, again, if we're looking after devotees or uh, or someone we in charge or someone who looks up to us as a senior devotee or something like that, 
that will be the best way that we can keep our spiritual family together all, all these four things and if you remember i said that most of the devotees they do three things together but they're missing one do you remember which one the Kramini was discussion yeah discussion they yeah. missed discussion yeah most of the devotees they do uh chanting together uh, worshiping the deities, taking prasadam, but the discussion is missing. Yeah. So, okay. So, uh, do you have any questions on that slide, or shall I go on the, the no, next one? No. Oh. I also one? don't have. Okay. No. Okay, let's go to the last one. Uh, okay, this is the last one, and then we can. Okay. So, uh, who would like, maybe Vikramini, would you yes. like to read it? Yes. yes. Shrimad Bhagavatam 3.29.17.44. In Bhagavad Gita, there is reference to Bodhayanta Parasparam discussing among, among themselves. Generally, pure devotees utilize their valuable time in chanting and discussing various activities of Lord Krishna or Lord Chaitanya amongst themselves. There are innumerable books such as the Puranas, Mahabharata, Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita and Upanishads, which contain countless subjects for discussion among two devotees or more. Friendship should be cemented between persons with mutual interests and understanding. Such persons are said to be Svajati of the same caste. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so I think this also gives a light to, to our last, last question, which is what is the most important way we can discharge our responsibilities to our dependents, subordinates and friends? So Vikramini, would you like to say what, what you're getting from that slide? And then I'll ask Ananda Maya as well. Hmm. Do you know which verse first he is referring here, Prabhupada, in Bhagavad Gita? Bodhayantas parasparam, katayantas chamam nityam, tushanticha, ramanticha. I don't know uh, exactly the number of, uh, of the yeah, verse, yeah, but I know number. the verse, and the uh, meaning is that um, devotees relish. Um, mm, pleasure discussing uh, uh, discussing topics about Lord Krishna and uh, I think that this is from uh, 10th ten, uh, yes Bhagavad yes uh, it's uh, it, I think it's um, 9 9 10 9 10 okay yeah. I, I, I let me see let me see I'm not completely sure, but I have to, and I'll read it. But yeah, you're right, it's that verse. Yeah. Uh, which one is, oh, maybe it's 1010. Let's see. 1010, yes. Yeah, maybe it's 1010. Uh, I'm not very good with numbers, but let's see. Yeah, yeah, 1010. Okay. Yeah. Ten, ten chapter, 10 chapter, yeah. um, yes. It's okay. Tesham Satatam Yuktanam. No, this is... No? Uh, oh, no, the, the previous one. This, the this is yeah, another the, verse, yes. The, pre, the previous one. is So it's 10-9. Ten, ten yeah. Machita Madgata Prana, yeah. Bodayanta Parasparam, Katayantas Chamam Nityam Tushan Ticha Raman Ticha. Yes. The thoughts of my pure devotees dwell in me. Their lives are fully devoted to my service and they derive great satisfaction and bliss from always enlightening one another, one another and conversing about me. Okay, so. So what do you get in here, uh, Vikramini? Ananda, my... Uh, um, that uh, something happened to Ananda Mai. Ananda Mai, are you there? Yeah, yeah, I, I can hear you, but I lost the. I I, I try to get back the. <laughs> back. Oh, the, but I can hear you. 
All right, okay, yeah. Just a minute, I hope I... Yeah, okay, we can finish, she can't hear us. So, oh, no, yeah. we are... Yes, yes. Um, uh, that uh, we should try to relish um, uh, sweetness of uh, pastimes of Lord Krishna in the association of um, like-minded devotees, like uh, this uh, last sentence in this purport. Um, friendship should be cemented between persons with mutual interest and understanding. And uh, I remember there are there there is um, such verse Svajati Svajati Snigda Sadhu Sangha Satobare that um, which means um, we should uh, seek association of uh, such devotees who are in um, such inclination like uh, like us like-minded like like-minded yeah yes like yeah. Yeah. and we we can um, we can achieve uh, satisfaction in such association discussing uh, discussing topics of krishna okay so what you're getting from here is that um we can make friends with devotees who have similar inclinations like yes. us yes yeah and the, this will have a great potency on our spiritual life because we will have such friends where we can sit together and discuss about Krishna. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Would you like to say something more? Okay. No. No. Okay. Uh, Ananda, my, we can see you. We can see only your finger. But if you can hear us, do, do you see us, by the way? Do you see or you don't see anything? Hare Krishna and the Mai. We lost her. Oh, today is not a good day. <laughs> 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 oh, I don't know. Today is not a good day. Oh, it's it's a good day, but <laughs> somehow the technicality that we no. lost an the Mai now. What shall we do? <sighs> hmm? Should we should we proceed? Uh, I don't know what to do. You know, I wanted to. Huh? Oh, okay. My husband is suggesting that I don't know. We wasted over an hour. Yes. That. <laughs> maybe yeah. Maybe we should stop. Okay. Uh oh, she's coming back. Maybe Ananda May. Okay. I'm I'm here. I'm here. Oh, finally. Okay, I was just saying, I was just saying today is not our day. We wasted so much time with this technology. It's unbelievable. Over an hour, we were trying to set up things and at the end. Okay, so would you like to say, we can't see you, but it doesn't matter if you can hear us. Would you like to say what you're getting from that slide? Because this is the last slide and then we can wrap it over. The, the true principles and if we have any questions we can discuss them quickly and finish because obviously it's it's so late now so do, do you see us uh, Jayanti you have so much echo oh sorry I don't know what to do I'm also no you don't you don't uh, can you hear? Uh, okay. Echo? Okay. Now it's better. Oh, okay. Now it's better. Okay. So what I'm trying to say. Okay. So the. the, yeah. the yeah, I heard you. Oh, it was just right. of echo. Okay. So, do you? So, the most important principle here is that <clears throat> we have so much literature, but we where we can discuss Lord Chaitanya's or Lord, Lord Krishna's pastimes. So, discuss, discussing among themselves is the is the most important base for uh, for associating and. Uh, develop good friendships among each other okay so you yeah. different you also get that you also get that yeah the second principle of discussing Prabhupada, Prabhupada's books and there's so many other books which are available for discussions will help us a lot in our spiritual life and will enable us to have this deep uh, spiritual friendships where it the our sp friendship is based on a on on actually on spiritual things, not just mundane things. 
Yeah. Yeah. Jaya, would you like to say something more or it's it's all right? Uh, do, do you see? No. Do you see? The, do oh, you no, see for God's sake. I am disappearing all the time. I don't know. It's all right. Leave it now because it's we wasted enough time. If if you can see, can you see the screen? That's most important. Can you see the the screen or you don't? <clears throat> and on the mic. I'm trying to get back again. Uh -huh. Anyway, we can hear you. Can you hear us? Ananda Mai? Okay, yes, I can hear you. All right. Okay, so you, it, um, I just wanted to say also something on that uh, on that uh, verse, if if I may, that this is kind of summarizing the second principle, which is discussing Prabhupada's books. And... Um, if you see Prabhupada is saying that generally pure devotees utilize their valuable time in chanting and discussing various, uh, various activities of Lord Krishna and Lord Chaitanya amongst themselves. And I, I think that's a, a very important principle. Not I think I understand from that slide that, that that's very important principle that we have a limited time in these bodies and we don't know what our destination for sure will be. Uh, Prabhupada even said uh, in one, you can see it even, it's on a video, on conversation, and he was talking about uh, um, Bharat Maharaj, and he said, don't wait for another life. Even Bharat Maharaj had to have another two lives. Uh, Bharat Maharaj had to have another two lives before he, you know, uh, just uh, uh, returned back to Godhead. So he said, don't don't wait for next life. Just try to do it this life. And that that's the point I'm getting from here, that we have a very limited short time. And that time should be utilized. Principle one, hear, hearing about Krishna from a pure devotee, topmost devotee. And principle two is discussing, discussing the activities, just not wasting our time, not just uh, we the short time we have to fully utilize it how by discussing and making friendship which actually we will enrich us spiritually so we can grow and we will be satisfied so that's what i'm getting here that uh, this is like a summary uh, of what we have discussed so far on the two principles hearing and discussing so that's what i wanted to say so I don't know if um, anyone like to say something about that, or if you want, we can go yeah. straight to, uh, to the question. Yeah, yes. This is yeah. this was uh, your thought, or you got it from this um, from this quote? I did get it from that quote. But because, uh, we don't know how much time we have, and then we have such a short lifespan, and we should utilize it uh, valuable. Okay, so valuable time, valuable time, I unpacked it, I unpacked it myself, I unpacked it like this life, which is so short compared to eternity and compared to, uh, even compared to other ages, even compared to this age, but let's say like 500 years ago, people were living much longer than we live nowadays with our stress and everything else, what is going on. So we have a very short life in general, if you if you compare it. So it's a very valuable because it's a human human form of life. There's so many other forms. So how I'm unpacking the word valuable time, it's that the time which we have is precious. It's um, uh, it's valuable means something which you really have to treasure. You really have mm -hmm. to think something which is not a Obtainable very easily. So first, it's a human form of life which is not obtainable very easily. And secondly, it's a human form of life in Kali Yuga, where the short span, according to Bhagavatam, uh, verse, which verse was um, in the beginning of Bhagavatam, I think was uh, uh, where the the sages they explain the predicament of the people of Kali Yuga. There they said that we have short lives. We are uh, uh, unfortunate. I, I will show you that uh, one second. Do, do you remember which, uh, um, which, yeah, Manda Sumanda Matayo. 
Um, which? Uh, uh, it yeah. So in Bhagavatam it says. Uh, okay. Which one it is? Uh, it's in the first chapter. It's in the first chapter in first canto. Yeah, it's one one ten. O learned one, in this iron age of Kali, men have but short lives. They're quarrelsome, lazy, misguided, unlucky, and above all, always disturbed. So if you take this disqualification compared to other ages, with the short lives, quarrelsome, the mind is always disturbed. So we have to really see how precious and how... Um, we have to really put a very, very high price to our human form of life. That I understand valuable time. So Prabhupada is saying that in general, pure devotees do that. So we should try to do the same because this is the way how you should spend your uh, human form of life. So mm -hmm. I, that is, is it Thank okay? You. Or yeah. And, uh, just to, um, uh, I want to read you from the same chapter one more um, verse, which is very important. Um, uh, which one was the verse uh, where he said that the human form of life should be... Uh... Okay, it's from the uh, second chapter then. Okay, sec second chapter. Uh, Bhagavatam, first canto, second chapter. Life's desire should never be directed towards sense gratification. One should desire only a healthy life of self-preservation. <coughs> since a human being is meant for inquiry about the absolute truth, nothing else should be the goals of one's work. So we should aspire for that. Not only pure devotees, but human beings, they should aspire to keep themselves he uh, healthy and with peaceful minds. Why? Just to have enough time and resources and strength, strength to inquire, to hear, to discuss about the Supreme Personality of Godhead. That's 1 to 10. So that's from me. Uh, so I don't know, uh, would you have any questions on that or anything you would like to add? Vikramini? No. no, 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 thank you. All right, so we finish all the, uh, the slides from the first two principles. So if you have any questions so far, what we have discussed, so the first principle is for us, is Kondivoti, if you remember, Prabhupada suggested that we have to find the topmost yogi and hear from him. And for us, the topmost yogi and the topmost uh, uh, pure devotee is Shiva Prabhupada for all the Iskon devotees. Even GBC uh, suggests that, that all, all Iskon devotees, they should take like uh, Prabhupada as their preeminent guru, as their first, you know, reference. Uh, so that's we have to hear from him from his purports he's available in his books in his purports so that's the first principle and then the second principle is discuss get together amongst ourselves discuss and uh, make uh, a friendship based on on these discussions on on this uh, on on this uh, um, uh, how to say uh yeah conversations or that that these activities on these activities our friendships and our socializing even if you can say so have to be based on that so that will make us and everyone participating happy 
So these are the two principles. And if you have any questions, I remember Vikramini said she had tons of questions. I don't know if she still have them. Do you remember, Vikramini, what questions did you have? And Ananda, Mai, you had some questions, so maybe you yeah. sort them out. Um, you don't remember? I, I asked you to write them down, but I don't know if you did that. And I, I already put up my questions as we yeah, went yeah. along. Oh, there you are, Ananda Mai now. I have two Ananda Mai's here. <laughs> Why so? Okay. <laughs> oh, Krishna. So, okay, you don't have any questions, Vikramini? Do you have any questions? No. Anything? No. no. Any no. doubts? So, with this, we finish the first two principles. Uh, so, if you are convinced that this is what you, should we do, we should hear and we should discuss, then we have to continue with the rest of the principles to see how we can discuss. So, our friendship deepens and our understanding deepens, our spiritual strength deepens, become, we become spiritually strong and we are easily able to perform tapasya and everything else what we are um, expected to perform. So, yeah, that's for me. I didn't hear you. You had a question? Oh. <laughs> Sorry? You didn't hear me? You had a question? No, no. I said that with this we finished the first two principles. And if we all agree that... Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. If we all agree that we should hear from Prabhupada and discuss his purports, then we should learn the rest of the principles where we learn exactly how to discuss. So we deepen our friendship, we deepen our understanding of uh, the Lord, and um, we become spiritually strong and we easily perform tapasya and everything else what we are supposed to do. So yes, just, I agree. Yeah, we mm -hmm. let, let's do it. Let's dive yeah. into it. Okay, so I'm gonna send you the third, uh, the the third principle, uh, the next class of Chintamani. Please watch it, and then I will send you the questions as well. Try to answer them, and next week. So we we are making um we are making now time on Sunday. From four till five for me, five till six for you and Andamai, and six till seven for Vikramini. Is that yes. all right? Yes, yes. Everyone. For me, it's good. Yeah, for you, is it good, Vikramini? For you? Yes, yes. Okay, for me also. So we, yeah, we'll try to uh, to maintain that now every Sunday, so it's easy to remember. And yeah. I, yeah, try. I, I'll try. I'm I'm going on traveling, but I will really try to keep our discussions. So let's see how it's gonna work. I have to really be, I don't know, prepared somehow. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I, I I have to figure it out with my husband how it's gonna work. But anyway, I will try to work. If not, then maybe for no, I'll try. I'll try anyway. <laughs> let's see. If if it doesn't work, then you have to wait three weeks. But. Uh, I hope that it will work. Is that okay with you? <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So okay, please, thank you. Yeah, I thank you also for your patience and participation and tolerance of all that today. It was really difficult to set up the things, but I hope that uh, my husband will sort out my computer and it won't be a problem. This was his computer, so I I really don't know how to operate with his computer. It's much more fancy than my. So until next Sunday, and please uh, try to watch the video of Chintamani and try to answer all the questions which are there. And I'll do the same as well for okay. myself. Okay. So we can discuss them, yeah? 
Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Please step my Thank humble obeisance. Okay. Until Hare next Krishna. Sunday. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Uh, how I stop now this thing? <laughs> okay. Sorry. Uh, uh, you can leave actually, and I have to see how I can stop it. Uh, okay, you do it. Yeah, you can leave an under my. Okay, Hare Krishna. And broadcast. Може би трябва да отидем сега. Или да остава от едно, като остана там.